Hello everybody, this is Sir Topham Hackeray here for a showcase of my Toho Project Trains route. So, in the last video we discussed the line, we showed off the line that goes off from the Hackeray Shrine all the way down to a station called Fairy's End, and then we showed off the Karindu branch line. So, if you're new, um, if you're new to what I'm doing here in this game, uh, Trains of New Era, so I am, I have decided to recreate the entirety of Gensokyo entirely in Trains of New Era. And, well, not the entirety, I'm just building a railroad through most of the locations in Toho Project. So, there's a card up in the corner of this video that's up right now that shows off the last video. But that video has since been obsoleted since so much has been done since the last time we were here. For one thing, you'll notice that there's no leaves on the trees, and that's because these trees are a special kind of tree that's in trains that changes depending on what season you're in, based on your computer's uh, calendar. Which is neat, but it's also kind of weird, because now... I get now there's seasonal depression in my game and I don't like it. Um, so, so well, first let's go over what has been done already um, so during the last video. So here is the Hakurai Shrine. So in the lore of the railway, uh, Reimu's shrine was made the terminus of the Karindu branch line, so that way she could earn more money towards her endeavors. So here is a shed containing two engines, a Great Western Pannier tank and a LMS Black 5. Uh, then there's a carriage shed with some coaches. This is also the end of the main line, so there's a turntable for turning locomotives. There's, there's a coaling stage for refilling locomotives and water for engines. Um, here is a small goods shed that leads into a small yard. Uh, over in this siding is a, what's this, um, a BR Class 105 uh, diesel multiple unit. And this is the locomotive responsible for doing passenger services on the Karindu branch, while the other engines do other passenger and uh, goods work. So we go up the main line and we're going to go into the Karindu branch line which is done here at this Y, this Y point. And over here is our, our, our the uh, lines from either side going into here. Uh, a Y is a type of railroad junction where it sort of forms like a triangle because it's three tracks getting into, meeting at three points. Um, right up, we go up, so this branch line is Single tracked with passing loops. So we go up here to the first station. This is Magician's Halt. Um, this is a this is essentially where uh, Marissa's where Marissa and Alice's house would be. Albeit I didn't add it because I'm too busy doing other things on this branch line. On well in this route. So then we go up the branch line and there is a junction that goes towards a logging camp. So this is the Forest of Magic in case anybody in case nobody in case anybody no, wants to know and ooh that's a that's a mean looking switch There we go. Uh, this is a small logging camp in the Forest of Magic in which trees are cut down and sent on flat wagons. And they're sent to a lumber mill where they're, took, where they're made into lumber. Here's a, Briti a British Rail class uh, 17 Clayton diesel. Those, It's a class of engine that's notorious for engine issues, but so is every, like, pre, you know, 1967 you know, pre-standardization uh, diesel locomotives. Um, over here is another halt called Ferry's Landing. 
well, it's this is more of a halt than a prep, proper station. I'm like magicians and magicians uh halt, but whatever. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm making this while I'm sick. So if I sound like absolute death, uh, that's why. And excuse the coughing. So we go down here and we head into Karindu, which has gr which has blown up into a small shopping center slash village. So this is where passenger services end. But if we go along up here, we see that the uh, that we go into this yard. This is the Karindu warehouse where all the merchants and all of the shop owners keep all their stuff and is loaded onto loaded into vans and is taken away onto trains to go elsewhere but also but they also receive goods from other towns and stuff um here's a br class 08 uh shunter with a line of vans over here is a great western king class that i use mostly just to test out goods trains and whatever um, here is a balloon loop that takes us all the way back down the branch line. So we'll do that. So now let's return to the Hakurei Shrine. Um, so we go over here and we're going to go down the main line. So I'm just going to just rattle off bits of the main line. So this main line... So one of the major changes is mostly just due to the signaling and just how the, the towns are handled by by the AI that I use to set the trains. Uh, here's a station called Lower Hakurai, which is, you know, which is a small village slash town that I want to say are largely devout towards the Hakurai Shrine due to its close prox proximity. But this is the point where the main line goes from two track to temporarily three track to four track. The reason that the main line is four track, even though Gensokyo is kind of a rural fantasy backwater, is because the line is meant with future proofing against future traffic needs. So if the trains become longer and there needs to be more of them, well, the, land, the, land, the, the railway is built to handle that. Um, then we come here to Ferry's End, which is a mainline station, and it has a pretty bustling town. Um, it's got a goods shed. It's got a place where coal is dropped off, so that way the yokai can use it to make yakitori chicken or grilled lamprey or whatever. And then we go down here, set of tunnels. And this is what I've been largely up to. So now there's trees and zoo, and there's this town called Zunyamora, and now it has a town. Uh, so last in the last video, the uh, the railway was just built up to this point. This is all grids and untextured, and now there's an honest to god town and a main line, and oh my god, there's more. So. We continue down the main line, which, by the way, this is one of the one of many sections that have been cleared for a hundred for a hundred and for a one hundred mile per hour speed limit. So we go down, and we go down. It curves to a ninety degree angle, so that way we head north. We go across these two bridges that goes across this river that I added, largely because I wanted to add a river. So. One thing about this is that I largely just freehanded a lot of Gensokyo's geography. So there's extra rivers, hills, mountains. There's extra stuff. And there's even extra towns, but that's largely due to the development of the railway. So now we head to a large urban area called Greslia, which is named after Sir Nigel Gresley, who is the chief mechanical engineer of the London Northeastern Railway. And over here, there is a huge freight yard. We've got a warehouse for palleted goods. We have a good a warehouse for goods. 
and we even have a lumber mill. So wood is taken from the Forest of Magic, is brought here, cut into strips of wood, and is sent down the uh, main line. So we go down to the main line, and then there's a little pool of water over here that I added because there was just a blank space from putting all the trees down. And then there's this ravine that I made absurdly long. So, of course, there is a absurdly long bridge. That's neat. Um, then we go down here, down the main line. Um, and then we head towards... Um, one of the super large towns, uh, Tansu. And Tansu, I literally got the name from a Japanese town genera name generator because I have no idea how I how to name half of these towns. But, you know. Anyway, here's another goods yard. Here's some sightings for for putting car for putting freight cars down. And here's a factory in which lumbers turned into general goods. So then we go down the main line again. So the, so this main line, as of right now, is currently 85 miles long. Because there is no canon east to west uh, length of Gensokyo, uh, Gensokyo may actually be larger than what Zoom initially thought. But again, that's just a result of me freehanding Gensokyo's geography. And then here is a hill. The line climbs up onto the top of this hill. And then it goes down. And then there's this like neat little uh neat little swamp. This neat little marshland. This is actually one of my favorite parts of the uh, route so far. Um, excuse me while I okay, that's Yes, editing does occur. Yeah. So then the line then climbs back down and then it heads to the town of Tobumura, which is I forgot what that what, what that means, but I but um Yeah, here's another town. If I'm sound like I'm kind of out of it, that's because I'm just sort of quickly freelancing this like I'm just want I just want to show off this route um originally I made another video that I was going to release that showed everything off but so much has changed since then that I just had to redo it which is what I'm doing now so then here's another river with another lovely bridge well bridges and then we go down There's a lot of, like, space between stations, so here's another hill that, it, that the line climbs over. And then here is, here is the Y for the, Yen, for the Yente branch line. So this is the Bamboo Forest of the Lost, and this line cuts right through it, so it, you know, calling it the Bamboo Forest of the Lost is a bit of a misnomer at this point, but... I mean, what can you do? So this, so this is famous because this is another one of my favorite parts of the route because there's an actual bamboo forest. Like, you know, instead of me having to freehand a lot of the major buildings and places in Gensokyo, like the Hakurai Shrine and later Yente and even Myron Temple, even though I haven't added Myron Temple yet. The station is there, but I haven't added the rest of it yet. So then we head, so down the branch line we go, we get to the Lost Bamboo Depot. Oh yeah, there's another station I forgot. Um, this station, uh, Bamboo Central. And then there's some stalls that service it. Again, it's another one of those rural branch lines that only serves a scant amount of people, but... This branch line is important because it allows trains to be run 
Tiente, so that way the sick and injured can be healed by Aaron, Aaron Yagakoro, you know. So yeah, and Yente is now accessible by rail. So this is... So this is Upper Yente, and this town is is famous because this is where a lot of the uh, a lot of the Lunarian expats, the Lunar expats live. So they have their own little community here. And then we head to Yente, where the buildings have largely been f done free-handed, and this is basically a giant hospital complex. And then here's a good station, which palleted goods are turned into pharmaceuticals, which is represented by general goods because uh, there's no pharmaceuticals load in uh, trains, which sucks, but I mean, whatever. Oh yeah, here's a siding and another balloon loop. So if we go back to where we originated, we head back here and then back down the main line. And then here's the goods line that leads towards the yard for a place called the Outer Human Village. <coughs> so the Human Village is broken up into four suburban areas. And, and then there's the Human Village proper, which is this huge, huge, huge town. So then if we go off here... We head into the yard, so there's the carriage sidings. Uh, there's some industry, like a warehouse, a, a coal depot, uh, a brewery that makes alcohol, that makes beer, and a, uh, and a place to get crude oil, apparently. And then over here is a shed where we have a, a element, an ex Ellen, uh, London Northwestern, uh, Super D, we have a BR Class 04, we have a BR Standard Locomotive, yeah, 4MT, and then we have a uh, X Caledonian Railway uh, Cardine, which is an ex which is a fairly large for the time uh, express locomotive. And then here's a massive uh, marshalling yard. Uh, there's a Class 47 diesel that I use for testing and there's some freight cars. Lovely. So now we go down this line and we head into into um we head into lower human village. So this is the lower end of the human village. Lots of buildings, largely copy and pasted because, you know, arranging buildings can be tedious sometimes, but, you know, that's me just speaking off the record. Um, then we go down, and then we head to a another Y point, and down here is the Human Village Terminus. So we go down here huge town and then there's a huge station even though it's only four tracks long and this is where main mainline services start and end um if we go over here there's there's some coal there's some water towers and then there's a turntable and loads of different engines a huge variety of different british steam locomotives and diesels from a variety of eras, different railroad, different railways too, so there's that. And then we go down here and we head into the goods yard full of freight cars. There's another class 08 shunter, which I think is actually a, uh, yeah, it's a class 08. And then there's a crap ton of industry here there is a there's another one of those warehouses again um there's another lumber mill there's a there's a place to exchange automobiles into aluminum this one's just place just that's just a bear a beer a beer warehouse because i can't fuck can't just speak um 
and then there's another factory over here is a container yard so yeah goods are sent here and they're put in little containers and they're sent down to the Zanzu River where they're sent on boats even though that's not how the lore works but the railway has its own lore for existing in Gensokyo so that's kind of a complicated mess here's a place where goods are transformed into scrap metal uh, here's a place where crude oil is turned into gravel and then there's a sake brewery in which rice is turned into beer which is nice so then we go back over here and then we hold on just let me check something yeah so then we go down Again, this is a 85 miles, this is 85 miles, like, to scale, so, yeah, lots of stations, lots of long stretches of lines. Here's the Upper Human Village, which is honestly not that big. Uh, then we head over to the Human Village Outskirts, which is the last part of the Human Village, and then we go, oop. Then we go past a bunch of hill, rolling hills, pond, and we get up to here, which is actually Nameless Hill. So Nameless Hill is a place in Toho Project lore. Lots of apparitions and supernatural stuff happen here. Uh, but in order to build, but because the railway couldn't be bothered to build a tunnel through it, um... They decide to build on top of it. So the line actually climbs fairly steeply to the top and then goes all the way back down. Um, it's the the right of way has been has been uh, has been exercised. So apparitions and stuff, apparitions and ghosts and stuff don't really spawn here, but they can definitely cross the track. So. You know, luckily for most people, the trains are permitted to run 100 miles an hour up here, so that's good. So this is largely just planes, because I just wanted to show how diverse Gensokyo's geography is, going from, like, woods to plains, and then later to, like, hills and mountains. So then we cross another river, and we head towards the next station, which is the Yokai Village. There's the name of the station. And here's all the buildings. So the Yokai Village is very much an agricultural town. So there's a part, here's a building in which milk is sent here and it's turned into cheese and butter. And then over here, rice is loaded is a uh, place where rice is loaded into hopper wagons i mean the reason they're loaded into hopper wagons is because there's no suitable no suitable i couldn't find any suitable freight cars that had the right couplings that could handle wheat and rice loads but i mean what can you do So then we continue onwards and forwards. There's some farmland with some irrigation. And then the line curves and we head once again up west. So the line largely is just, just goes across Gensokyo from east to west. And the geography and the location of different places is totally free-handed. And then over here, we have the Western Village, which is, you know, a place full of Westerners, I guess. It's also in the West, so there's that. Um, here's a place in which uh, milk is loaded into tankers. And then over here is a place where scrap metal is, is recycled into steel and aluminum is used for certain industries that I've yet to add so then we go down and this is the part that is completely unfinished 
So here's lots and lots of track. Again, I think I might have overdone it. In fact, to get from one end of the line to the other it takes about an hour, even with 100, 100 mile per hour limits on certain areas. Anyway, here's my urine temple. Or my urine. My urine. Yeah, my urine temple. And it is non existent. The station's here, which is good. But, uh. You know, by a Kieran, by a Kieran Hijeri's, you know, home hasn't been, you know, added yet. So, yep. And then we come, come down here. The line curves yet again. Now we head back up north. Here's this huge mountain that has a tunnel that goes through it because I felt like it just needed an extra tunnel. Um, then there's more bridge, another river with another bridge. And then it's just flat land. So anyway, here is Maya Higa. So Maya Higa kind of changes location. In a lot of the RPG Maker games that I make for Toho Project, it's usually in the bottom, the bottom right corner of the world map and here it is just simply just down the line from uh my urine temple so this is the village that yukari you know lives and for some reason has a massive freight yard we have we have another warehouse we have milk we have uh goods and then we even have good sightings in a shed that I've not filled with engines because whatever reason. And then we go over here. And then it just ends. Albeit there's more to it because there's this whole section of... <sighs> An extra section of land that just con that just continues up until over here. But yeah, this is Toho Project in trains. It's Gensokyo in trains, and it's unfinished. So what I might do is I might add an extra station or two before adding the moria shrine and then at that point the main line is done all i have to do is work on the branch line that goes from kappa valley from the main line in kappa valley to the Z to the zanzu river and then i gotta make the mineral line that goes from the that goes from kappa valley uh into the mountains of gensokyo where stuff is dug up and mined and is put onto trains there's also the works I've got to add. There's there's other stuff I got to add, but once it's done, it'll be a essentially a simulation of railway operations in Gensokyo. And yeah, so there's some other stuff. For one, I do intend on releasing this, but I do intend on releasing this with uh, both with and without locomotives and rolling stock. However, with that being said, due to the buildings it, the game this uh, particular route uses, you will need the model, the Japan model model train thing DLC, as well as the the Carlisle and and uh, the Carlisle and Settle uh, line DLC. So there's like about maybe like thirty. 40-ish bucks worth of DLC that you have to get, so there is a bit of a paywall here, but once you get past that, it's Gensokyo. It may not be Gensokyo the way some people imagine, but it's Gensokyo nonetheless. Uh, thank you for watching, and 
I hope I get to finish this soon, and I hope to share it with the rest of you, and I hope the rest of you can play it. Thank you, and good night.